This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Bless This House is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Patsy Rollins played the character Betty Lewis in the sitcom when she was 40 years old in 1971. Sadly, on January 22, 2005, she left us with breast cancer at 74 in Hove is a Sex, UK. We are deeply saddened by her passing. Zoo. Oh, that'll be nice, Betty. We used to go there when we were courting. We often used to sit on the grass and share a packet of monkey nuts. Oh, I'm very sorry, but we've run clean out of monkey nuts. <laughs> I fell flat in heading with the other. Oh, day did you? You're going on back. the pavement. But it's a nice so little, what does that it's mean? It's a nice little bachelor flat there, dear, just for oh. you and me. Anyway, it's nice to see you, Pat. Right. David Badley played the character Mr. Jones in the sitcom when he was 38 in 1973. Sadly, on January 20th, 2003, he left us due to a heart attack at 67 in Epsom, Surrey, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Stuffed, yes. <laughs> I never had him done while he was alive. I never got round to it. Well, you don't buy a bit of wood. They're not made of wood. Well, whatever they're made of. There you are, you see, you've lost the thread of your argument. No, I haven't. I simply don't want to. Sally Jason played the character Sally Abbott in the sitcom when she was 21 in 1971. See, at 73 years old, she is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in West Sussex, England. Or he'll take root. <laughs> well, he's managed to lift the phone. So long as it doesn't sprain his wrist. <laughs> Wrong number. <laughs> I, well, yes, because sometimes you get the same people who come back. You know, I, I come about every four or five years, and when I do come, the same fans. Diana Copeland played the character Jean Abbott in the sitcom when she was 43 in 1971. Sadly, on November 10, 2006, she left us due to heart problems at 78 in Coventry, England. We are deeply saddened by her passing. Fed up. I'm fed up. Totally fed up. Totally fed up. You don't know what it's like to be a woman. Being in the same place every day, doing the same old things. I'd only done one episode of a, of a sitcom before, so I, I knew nothing about comedy. So anything that, that I... Sidney James played the character Sid Abbott in a sitcom when he was 58 in 1971. Sadly, on April 26, 1976, he left us of a heart attack at 62 in Sunderland, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. I mean, we love each other. And loving each other is much more than kissing. It's liking each other and having respect for each other. <laughs> Why haven't I got any chips? It's not right. Can you imagine me playing Shakespeare? <laughs> oh, no. Or whatever it is. No, not me, mate. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to think of... Anything like this could... Ivan Beavis played the character Charlie in the sitcom when he was 46 in 1972. Sadly, on December 24th, 1997, he left us due to illness at 71 in Northampton, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. You in a hurry, son? I'm sorry, man. I just didn't see it. Of course you didn't see it. Robert Racklin played the character George Humphreys in the sitcom when he was 63 in 1972. Sadly, on July 18, 1985, he left us due to illness at 76 in Wandsworth, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. To tell you that Sergeant Wilson's commission has come through. <laughs> commission? <laughs> Captain Square would like him to take up his duties with the Eastgate platoon as soon as possible. Robin Stewart played the character Mike Abbott in the sitcom when he was 25 in 1971. Sadly, on November 22, 2015, he left us with Ephysema at 69 in Windsor, Berkshire, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. <laughs> I've got a job. A job? You mean work and all that? Yeah, there's only one snag though, Mum. I'm gonna have to be away from home a bit. Georgina Moon played the character Emma in the sitcom when she was 22 in 1972. See, at 74 years old, she is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in England. Out of drink. 
Oh, great. What are you doing in here? Well, would you believe talking about our parents? Well, come on, Mike. We'll have to start on Dad's whiskey. We can't. He's marked all the bottles. Oh, don't worry. Anthony Jackson played the character Trevor Lewis in a sitcom when he was 27 in 1971. Sadly, on November 26, 2006, he left us due to cancer at 62 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Well, you borrow my camera, yeah. right? you take a photograph of nothing, yeah. whistle it round at the telesitter, and you tell him your uncle was on it, but it's faded. <laughs> John Cummer played the character Barman in a sitcom when he was 48 in 1972. Sadly, on February 11, 1981, he left us due to nasopharyngeal cancer in Blackpool, Lancashire, UK. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Michael Logan played the character Mr. Harper in the sitcom when he was 65 in 1972. Sadly, on August 18, 1993, he left us due to natural causes at 86 in Camden Town, London, UK. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Thompson, our managing director. That's why I call. I want your husband to deliver it to him today. Oh, it's not Watford then. <laughs> oh, never mind, doesn't matter. Please come in. Donald Morley played the character Police Surgeon in the sitcom when he was 49 in 1972. Sadly, on May 27, 1999, he left us of natural causes at 76 in the UK, where he'd be saddened by his passing. He was seen entering. Oh, you mean illegal entry? Yeah, that's what I said, sir. Yeah, he, uh, come in for fishing boat, did he? Fishing boat? <laughs> okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Bless This House? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.